who have played Army football and who have faithfully served our nation. As you look upon the well-organized, structured um, lockers, the picturistic frames as you walked on the second floor and looked through the Hall of Fame, if not, I would strongly encourage you to go up there and take a scroll through. But as you look at the displays of the Heisman Trophy winners and the elite football players, I want you, even down here today, I want to encourage you to always remember this, if you don't take anything else home. No locker here at the Army football locker room can be purchased. It must be earned. First, Lieutenant William Josh Powell has certainly earned his place among these Hall of Famers and military elite today. Why are we here? There's a couple of reasons why we're here very quickly. We've come to pay respect, to give honor to First Lieutenant Powell as a student athlete. That's not easy. At the United States Military Academy. As a result of his willingness to serve his nation during his life and to play on the gridiron as a former linebacker who helped seal the bowl game victory in 2010 who went on to graduate from West Point, to graduate from Ranger School, and eventually decease at the age of 27 due to his battle with cancer. We come now to dedicate this locker in remembrance of him. Secondly, we want to say thank you to all of the family members. Thank you for coming to West Point. Thank you to his wife, Miss Powell, for accepting and choosing Mikey Stadium football locker room as a memorial remembrance for First Lieutenant Powell. To the family and friends, again, thank you. And also thank you to the cadets who have showed up for their support. Thank you all for your presence. Lastly, why we come, we've come to give a gentle inclination to continue to move on. Although we understand that we are never left alone. Here's why. Jesus said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the ages. First Lieutenant Powell is a part of the Long Gray Line. And as a part of the Long Gray Line, he is among those in the ghostly assemblage. Although they are not present with us in body, they are in spirit, encouraging us to keep on because we are never left alone. In addition, Joshua Powell Foundation is established on movement. It was built around encouraging others who battle cancer and adversity to keep on going and to fight regardless of what things look like. I'm reminded of the Apostle Paul. He encourages us, just like Josh, to fight the good fight of faith and finish the race. At this time, I will go into a locker dedication. On behalf of the United States Military Academy, West Point, and the Army football team, First Lieutenant William Joshua Powell, we dedicate this locker to you for you honor your football brotherhood during your life. And now we will honor you with this locker in your death. You were the epitome of excellence, which all who represents the football team strives to be like. You was what right looks like. First, First Lieutenant Powell stood for duty honor and respect, and made the resilience that he demonstrated while playing football and afterwards battling cancer never be forgotten. May this locker be a symbol to all the Black Knight football players, past, present, and future, to keep going, and may they forever adopt the philosophy of Josh having a will to live and never die easy. May all who comes through these locker room doors observe and gaze JP Locker to be reassured and to know that there lies a faithful man. 
a man who never quit, no matter how bad things would get. God bless all of you. God bless all of you. According to the program at this time, we'll have comments.